Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here. Uh, so this was a video I was hoping, if I had the chance to make, would be more interesting. And that doesn't mean tune out, please stick around. Uh, I was hoping that I would be able to deliver to you some great news. Oh my god, some Shenmue thing is happening. Okay, so what happened was the uh, GDC, uh, Game Developers Conference 2014, went down. We all knew about that. There was going to be an hour-long conference uh, discussing uh, where Yu Suzuki, the man who created Shenmue, uh, would be around to talk about Shenmue and its development, and then likely take a few questions. That's what we kind of, we expected, uh, or at least what we were told. And then, that's exactly what we got. He talked about Shenmue for about 40 minutes, its development. He showed us some stuff we didn't know, which was kind of neat. And uh, he showed us some stuff I think we all kind of knew, but he had greater detail on it. And then we got a few questions. Um, the questions, of course, the first question that came out of his mouth was, uh, or somebody asked, was about Shenmue 3. And now this has become a big thing. Uh, he translated it to basically be, you know, to say something to the extent of like, if I have the opportunity, you know, of course I'd like to make it, which is really what we've known for years now. And the translator translated it to dot, 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 which of course is now a running joke. Dot, 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 three dots. Shenmue 3 confirmed. Oh, the internet. Uh, but uh, yeah, so then people asked him a few other questions. Somebody asked him about uh, the Sega Saturn version of the game, which I thought was the single best question asked of all of them. Uh, you know, if the, the game was playable, if he could release it, etc. And his, his answer was incredibly interesting to me. Uh, he said something the extent of, like, you know, it was a prototype, uh, and I've considered finishing it. At least that's my recollection, is he said, I've considered finishing it. As in, like, I could just go home and just finish making it and release the Sega Saturn version. Which, if there's any truth to that, although I can't imagine there is, that would be awesome. <laughs> I would love to play the Sega Saturn version of Shenmue. Are you kidding me? That'd be great. Um, but I can't see anything else happening there. The rest of the questions were kind of obviously developer based, and except for one question in particular. And that I, I hope, dude, if you're watching, I don't mean to make directly fun of you because I don't know who you are. But um, somebody asked about Space Harrier, and I think the collective reaction from the Shenmue fan base is like, dude, we can ask you maybe five questions, and you waste it. You waste one of them on a fucking Space Harrier question. No one cares about Space Harrier right now. This is Shenmue time. Whatever. Uh, so we didn't get any kind of announcement like Shenmue HD or Shenmue 3 or anything like that, which, like I kept saying, really wasn't surprising. You know, like in the two videos I did leading up to this where I talked about the conference, I, I, I did say that it was really unlikely we were going to get any kind of announcement. Although, I did think there was some small chance that Shenmue HD would be announced. That would have been really nice. Um, now, the story continues after that conference. Um... Yu Suzuki is now apparently in some sort of... Right, look, there's a lot of talk floating around now that he's more interested in doing Kickstarter than he used to be uh, because he was asked about it. Now, this is where I go, how quickly we forget. About this time last year, after the, I think it was GDC 2013, where he met up with Mark Cerny, the same thing happened. He was asked about, is Kickstarter a possibility? And he said, yeah, I guess. And then every news outlet ran like, yep, he's going forward uh, with Kickstarter. It's going to happen. That's the way he's going to do it. And this is the same fucking thing again. You know, he was asked about it, and he gave a very generic, polite, positive answer. He's never going to say anything negative about the possibility of making Shenmue. He obviously wants to do it. So he's open to any avenue. So he's never going to be negative. He's always going to say something positive. So when asked, you know, have you considered, again, going with Kickstarter, he's going to be like, well, yeah, you know, if I get the chance, if that makes sense and it works, blah, blah, blah. Like, if that's the kind of answer he gave. And already the whole internet's like, oh my god, Kickstarter is doing it again. Come on, guys. Kickstarter is not really a practical option. I mean, at best with a Kickstarter, you'd be able to maybe, maybe buy the license from Sega. At best. And then what? Do we all just collectively agree? Like, let's say there's a Kickstarter, and the goal is to buy the license from Sega. Let's presume the absurd that we could actually come up with that kind of funding. Then what? Do we all just agree that our share of the purchase goes directly to Yu Suzuki? And then what? He can't make the game at that point. At that point, he owns a franchise with no money behind it. 
you still have the exact same problem, except he has full control of it. That's probably a better situation, slightly, because then he can go to Sony and be like, hey, I've got, you know, the rights. You don't have to buy the rights now. Can we make this? Yeah, that'd be better. But at the same time, he can't suddenly just make the game. He wouldn't have any capital behind him. You know, I did a video on this whole Kickstarter thing last year. While I have not watched it in quite some time, I would bet there's not much that has changed from that. Basically, the key points are the Kickstarter thing has been blown out of proportion. It's not going to happen. And uh, even if it did, you're never going to result in anything. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I, this comes off as incredibly negative, and I don't want it to be because I am very, very hopeful. And I use that word very specifically, hopeful, that Shenmue has a future. And I, it very well may, but I don't think it's going to be through Kickstarter kind of routes. Crowdsourcing could theoretically work to simply get the license away from Sega, and that's about it. I, unless Sega was on board to be like, look, we're going to retain the license, but we will put crowdfunding up as an option to simply finance our creation of the game, which I can never imagine they would actually do. And it would also set a very dangerous precedent in the gaming industry, by the way. Um, yeah, it, unless something like that happened, I don't think crowdsourcing is ever going to play any kind of role in this. You just need some someone with money behind them who's willing to pay Sega to make it, or pay them for the rights, etc. Which is why I've maintained that for the longest time now, that Sony is the single most logical route. Not necessarily my first choice, but kind of the only choice. It's the only one that makes sense. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts. The GDC was pretty much what I expected. It was exactly what they told us they were going to give us. That doesn't mean I wasn't disappointed, because I was. And even, I, I hate to admit it, and even bored at times, which I felt shitty about. I'm 20 minutes into that thing, and I'm sitting there going, I'm kind of bored. Ugh, I can't be bored. This is Shenmue. It's got to be awesome. But frankly, it kind of wasn't, which I felt really bad about, but it's the way it was. That was just my reaction. It's my honest reaction to it. So I don't know. Did you guys watch it? Do you have similar reactions? Uh, I captured the footage for the whole thing. I gave it off to the Shenmue Dojo. I think it's all been uploaded onto uh, his, onto the Shenmue Dojo channel. So feel free to go ahead and watch it if you want. Uh, it's not boring. Watch it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> there are some good moments and there's definitely some things to learn. But uh, I think the problem was, you know, watching it the first time, no not knowing if there's going to be any sort of announcement. You sit there going, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, okay, programming, uh-huh. Are you going to say something else about the game? Is there another one coming? Huh? Huh? That's, so maybe if I watched it again in hindsight, it would be more interesting. I don't know. But uh, I'll leave that up to you now that you know the results, and you can go watch it if you want. So that's really it. That's, that was kind of my thoughts on the whole situation. And uh, what else can I say? Keep hope alive. Thanks for watching.